Hey friends, Fossey here, and today I'm going to be cooking. There's a ton of information out on YouTube about different kinds of recipes for backpacking, through hiking, and today I'm going to make one that in various parts I've probably eaten all of, but I've never put these things all together at once. Um, but this is a, a good example of a recipe that I would make or have made on my Appalachian Trail through hike last year. So let's get started. So the recipe I'm going to be making today is a Mediterranean couscous dish. Um, so I have all of my ingredients uh, ready to go. I have this Near East couscous, couscous mix. Um, on the trail, I would have taken it out of the box. I'm pretty sure it doesn't come in a bag, so I would definitely have rebagged it. Um, yep. But it has a seasoning packet, and this is the toasted pine nut. And to go inside of our couscous, we have uh, these Simply Truth meatless kielbasa sausages. We have some crushed up uh, habanero pistachios. Pistachios are actually one of the um, most common nuts that I took with me on trail. I always crave them. And for some sweetness, I have some dried apricots. And although they are heavy, um, since I did put these in some of my resupply boxes, I did have some of these. And they're really good. And to top it off at the end, I have a little bit of hummus. Now early on the trail, um, actually for most of it when I wasn't cold soaking, I actually carried out tubs of hummus with me. One of the reasons I liked my big GSI pot was that the smaller containers of hummus fit inside of it so that I didn't have to worry about the hummus leaking in my pack. Um, but when I went to cold soaking, I transferred over to using dehydrated hummus and mixed it into my little talenti jar that I had when I started cold soaking. But today we'll just use a little bit of the roasted garlic that I had in my house. All right, to start off, I am going to boil the water needed. And because I'm going to be boiling the apricots as well, just so that they soften up a bit more, um, I'm going to add just a touch more water. So the whole box, which we're eating for dinner, so uh, the whole box requires a cup and a quarter of water. So this is a cup and a half. And these bowls have measuring things on them, but I did not bring them on the trip, just the pot. I probably would have just eyeballed it. All right, we're going to get that going. Pop a lid on that and let that come to a boil. And while we're waiting for that, we'll cut up our sausage and our uh, apricots. So on the trail, I didn't have a cutting board. Um, I tended to use whatever I had. So in some, most cases, it was the um, lid to the hummus that I had, or sometimes I would use the lid to buy pot. So I'm going to add the diced up apricots, the diced up sausage, 
and then I'm going to put this back on for another minute. I'm also going to add the seasoning packet. And we'll wait. All right, it's been boiling for about a minute or two. Uh, one way to quicken this process is to add the ingredients to the room temperature water and have it all come up together, um, especially if you're worried about saving on gas. This is also a great recipe for you cold soakers out there. Couscous is a great ingredient for cold soaking. Um, and especially if you're using meatless products like these uh, Simply Truth kielbasa sausages, they do not need to be cooked to eat. They're ready to eat right out of the package because they're plants. So um, overall, this is just a great recipe for both people who use a stove and those who don't. So now I just turned it off. It's still super hot. We're going to add our couscous. We're going to add the whole box and quickly give it a stir. Make sure it's really stirred up nice and well. Then we're going to put the lid back on, set it, and forget it and let it sit and absorb all of the water into the couscous and then it'll be light and fluffy and delicious. We'll top it with hummus and it'll be amazing. All right, it's all done sitting. It's been sitting for about five minutes now. So let's take a look. Oof. This looks so good. And I know at the end of a long 20 mile hike, this would be something I would love to sit down and eat. Not this much of it. <laughs> Granted, I would never be able to eat an entire box of couscous, but I'm sharing it with my partner tonight, so Figaro will be very glad to help me eat this pot. Let's give it a quick taste. As is, it's perfect. Um, it's definitely, it's got the good spices, the sausage is really good, the apricots warmed up just enough that they're super soft, but what it's missing is a little bit of crunch. Good thing I have some habanero pistachios crushed up for it. And it wouldn't be Mediterranean couscous without a little bit of hummus, so we'll top it with that. So I'll plate it up and we'll get to eating. Well, I'm starving and I know Figaro is too, so we're going to get to eating. Thanks for joining me and if you like this video, hit the thumbs up and subscribe down below because there's a lot more content like this coming soon. Especially the video about the perishable items that you can pack out safely on your through hike. So thanks for joining me. I'll see you next time.
So. You gonna give it a taste for me, figure out? Yeah. Let's give, it a, <laughs> let's give it a shot. Utilize my free guinea pig. <laughs> Test my trail culinary. So, what are we calling this? Uh, Mediterranean couscous? <laughs> right, I was expecting some fancy French name or something. What's the verdict? This should not be a bad way, bad way to end the day. Scale of 1 to 10. Mmm. <laughs> well, I just got an apricot. I know, right? Mm hmm That little pack of sweetness in there. Yep. Yep. Really good. Mmm. The brats are really good. Mm hmm Can't wait to have more of those. I'd be really curious about putting more, um, stuff like the apricots. Well, I mean, whatever other dried fruit you had. Cranberries, raisins. Mm -hmm. Raisins would be great. Mm -hmm. Never have enough raisins. Just a random mix nuts or something in here, too. Well, we're going to finish dinner. So, thanks again.